Four yard by me. between the Bradley Braves, who are 2-0 out of the Missouri Valley Conference against the IUPUI Jaguars. Out of the Summit League, Todd Howard's club, two wins against one loss. They are 1-0 at home. Bradley has yet to play a road game, but they have lost their last 11 outside of Peoria. I'm Scott McCauley. Welcome inside the jungle. Sean Jones is back at Sports Radio 1260 WNDE. And the visitors from Peoria wearing their road Red uniforms with Bradley across the chest in white. White numerals black down the sides of their shorts. Starting at a point guard is a 6'5", 207 pound senior from Richmond, Virginia, Jake Eastman. And another guard, a 6'3", 178 pound junior from Chicago, number 25, Walt Lemon Jr. They'll have a three guard lineup. 6'3", 197 pound senior from Peoria, number 32, Dyrikis Sims Edwards. Big men down low include 6'6", 220 pound junior college transfer out of New Jersey, number 20, Tyshawn Pickett, and a 6'9", 235 pound sixth year senior from Alaska, number 21, Will Eagle. So it's Eastman, Lemon Jr., Sims Edwards, Eagle, and Pickett. Now for IUPUI, same lineup that the Jaguars have rolled out the last two games, starting at a point guard. The 5'11 senior from Indianapolis, number 12, Greg Rice at the other guard. 6'3 senior from Indianapolis, number 20, Sean Esposito. 6'2 senior from Beach Grove is the Purdue transfer, John Hart. He had a rough game Tuesday against Bowling Green, but he hit one bucket, and it was a big bucket in that win for the Jaguars. Down low, each man had a double-double in the win on Tuesday against Bowling Green. 6'7 junior out of Louisville, number 30, Donovan Gibbs. And the 6'9 junior from Vincennes, number 50, Mitch Hatton. Rice, Esposito, Hart, Gibbs, and Patton. Five on the floor, the head coach for Bradley. In his second season is Geno Ford, Ronald Coleman, Greg Graham, Jaden Ukin are the assistants for Geno Ford. And on the bench for IUPUI in his second year is head coach Todd Howard, Matt Crenshaw, his top assistant, David Padgett's in his second year, and Don Carlisle, year number one on the bench for Coach Todd Howard, the longtime assistant, elevated to the head roll for this, prior to the start of last year. His team off to a two and one start. Bill Eck, the official to throw up the jump ball. Glenn Mayborg and John Moore, the other officials. And we're underway in Indianapolis in the tap controlled by IUPUI. They move from left to right on your radio dial in their home white maroon numerals and IUPUI across the chest in maroon. Man-to-man -man defense for Bradley. Jaguars swing a pass from the left wing to the near wing. Sean Esposito dribbles into the paint, gets a runner to go. And the first bucket belongs to IUPUI. Jaguars two, Bradley nothing. 
First possession of the game for the Braves. They get it down on the far block and a nice turnaround jumper off the glass is good for Will Eagle. And quickly, a 2-2 game to open up here in Indianapolis. And Bradley very active on the defensive end. Knocks the ball out of bounds in IUPUI. Will inbound in front of the student section on the far side. They get it to Greg Rice, the point guard who had a career high 21 points Tuesday. Now Donovan Gibbs to the right wing, hands it off to Hart. Quickly the possession swung over to the left wing for Rice. He bounces it to Patton, hands it off back to Rice. Top of the point between the circles. Shot clock at a dozen, right? Rice crosses over, gets the paint, kicks it out of the near baseline. 17 foot jump shot off the mark by Donovan Gibbs. And the rebound to Bradley. And the Braves will run their half court against the Jaguars man to man. Jump shot from the left wing, off the mark, fired by Tyshawn Pickett. Rebound to the Jaguars. Tied at two, minute and a half in. John Hart, outside of the arc, left side. Dribbles in behind his back, misses the fall away jumper from right on top of the arc. And here comes Bradley the other way. Braves 2-0, their first road game, while the Jaguars are 2-1, their second home game of this young season. Free throw line, it's into the hands of Jake Eastman, bounces it down to the paint. Pickett, slashing across the lane, gets it to go off the left side of the glass. He is an outstanding athletic player. A transfer, junior college transfer, who exploded for 23 points in his Bradley debut. Sean Esposito on the right side, outside of the arc. Trying to get it inside to Patton. Instead, skips a pass left wing for Hart. He'll lob it down to the far block for Mitch. Back to the basket, dribbles in, kicks it out to Hart. Nothing that he can do with the ball, so he puts it on the floor and dribbles. Now Greg Rice has it at half court. Shot clock at seven. Rice trying to find some room at three. Patton has to force up a shot. Too strong, and the rebound snatched out of the air by Pickett. Bradley dribbling down the far sideline. Walt Lemon Jr. gets it out, out high top. Sims Edwards, bounce pass on the block. Pickett going to work against Gibbs. Goes in the lane and a soft floater is in and he bangs on his chest, sticks his tongue out as he backpedals to half court. Two straight possessions in which Pickett has been able to score. 6-2 Bradley and they are going to bring in two fresh bodies at the next opportunity. Jaguars having trouble getting the offense going against this defense into the far left corner, high arcing three is up and down for John Hart. And it's a one point game, Bradley the lead at six to five. Left wing outside of the arc, Jake Eastman guarded by Esposito, Eagle, free throw line, can't hit the jumper, rebound snatched away by Hart. He'll push it quickly across half court, into the paint, goes up with a high shot off the grass, blocking foul and they are going to count the bucket. John Hart snatched the rebound, went all the way down to the other end of the court, put it off the glass, and Will Egolf picks up his first. And already John Hart outperforming himself from that dreadful performance on Tuesday against Bowling Green. You expected the senior to bounce back, and he has already. With 16.37 to play, the Jaguars leading 7-6, looking to complete the old fashioned. Freebie is up, off the front of the rim, and the rebound. Grabbed by Bradley. Jaguars by one. Pickett has it, free throw line. Hart comes over the top, knocks it away, but Bradley's able to keep possession. Lemon Jr. now, left side, outside of the arc. He dribbles out to the high point, tries to turn the corner, gets it to Pickett, outside of the arc. He'll bounce it down low, slicing to the lane, and having his shot blocked from behind was number five, Jalen Crawford. John Hart came from behind and blocked that shot, stuffed it, and it went out of bounds off of Crawford. Jaguars by one. Esposito dribbles to the right wing. Now out top for Gibbs. They swing it around left side for Rice. Rice cannot drive into the free throw line. Perimeter, right wing, Esposito, a catch, a shoot, and a swish. Donovan Gibbs headed on the left wing, skip the pass cross court, and Espo buries the triple. IUPUI now on an 8-0 run, leads Bradley 10-6 with 15.35 to play. 
Out top for Pickett. Catch and shoot outside of the arc on the left side is good for Walt Lemon. And they gave him a three, good call, and it's a one point game. Jaguars in the half court, Bradley in the man to man, 15 15 to play. Here in the opening half, IUPUI 10, Bradley 9. Pat dribbles in left wing, hands it off to Gibbs. Gibbs passes it right wing to Rice. He'll dribble the free throw line, dump it off to Gibbs. His shot was altered by Pickett. And now Bradley coming the other way, dribbling from right to left. Crawford has it near side in the corner. Bounce pass on the block. Prosser back out to the guards outside of the arc. And Hart ripped it away from Lemon. Hart now down the right side of the lane. Goes up for a shot, blocked out of bounds. Who touched it last? And it will be IUPUI ball. Bradley does a great job hustling down court. Three red jerseys defend on Hart, and it will be IUPUI ball after this timeout. 14.45 to play here in Indianapolis. The Jaguars on top of Bradley. 10 to 9 on Sports Radio 1260 WNDE. Wow, life moves pretty fast these days. Convenience is what it's all about. Indiana Members Credit Union knows how important it is for you to have quick and easy access to your money. That's why we have an app. Now I can check my balances, transfer money, or look at recent transactions no matter where I am. Mobile money. It's another way Indiana Members Credit Union offers big city convenience with a small town feel. Stop by a branch and join today. Why don't you open your... You're listening... The Jaguars will fly out tomorrow to Charlottesville, Virginia to continue the NIT. Third and fourth round action can be heard on iHeartRadio at 4.30 Eastern time on Monday and Tuesday. And IUPUI already getting a huge effort from John Hart in the early going. Hart who had only three points in the win Tuesday against Bowling Green. In that game, Hart was only one of six from the floor and he had five turnovers. He's two for four, including burying a three. He has five points. Sean Esposito has five points. They've accounted for all the scoring. Jaguars, four of nine from the floor. And Bradley, four of seven from the floor. Bradley has some athletes including Pickett. Coming out of the timeout, five on the floor. Starters remain for the Jaguars. Gibbs, Gibbs Hatt, 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 Bryce, Bryce, Esposito, and Hart. And, Hart. and there's a turnover, there's a ball, ball rolls on the ground, ground and it's Crawford, and it's Crawford that comes, Crawford up, with that comes up with it. 14-34 to, to play. Jaguars leading Jaguars by leading one, by Bradley one. with the Bradley basketball in the half-court half offense. Half offense. On the far, on the far wing. wing, now they get it now inside the block to Prosser. Spins, spins towards, towards the basket, the basket. can't get the hook shot to go. Shot Rebound, to go. Rebound by Donovan, Donovan Gibbs. Gibbs. And now IUPUI, now IUPUI comes, the, comes other the other way. Here's Greg Here's Rice splitting Rice defenders, dumping it onto the left wing, and Donovan Gibbs buries the third three of the first half for IUPUI. And they're on top by four at 13 to nine. Second three Second of the young three season, of season for Gibbs. For Gibbs. IUPUI by four. 13.55 to play. After a miss by Bradley, IUPUI coming the other way. John Hart has it. He'll pull up for three. IUPUI is now four for four. And a timeout has been called by Bradley. Boy, they are starting to feel it. If it's not Gibbs or Esposito, it's Hart. He now has two. He has eight points here in the early going. And IUPUI, the lead balloons up to 16 to nine. So 
Why you feel you are you are with minutes in 40 seconds to play in the first half. On top of Bradley. And John Hart with eight points. Jordan Shanklin comes off the bench. He had a career high 12 in the win Tuesday against BG. And Marcellus Barksdale will also check in at the next opportunity. Shanklin all over Lemon Jr. defensively out top, who forced up a shot from straight on, and he missed it. Rebound by Mitch Patton. IUPUI moving from left to right. Shanklin across half court. He'll handle the point. Right wing outside of the arc for Gibbs. He'll hand it off to Esposito. He swings it left side for Hart. Dribbles in, kicks it back onto the wing. Shanklin missed the three. He was falling away on that look from the left side. Crawford pushing now for Bradley. Got the ball caught on his hip. No call. Pass it out top to Will Eagle. Now Sims Edwards has it. Edwards out top. Left side, Crawford has it. He'll try and dribble to the baseline. He'll get to the paint off the glass, and it's good. He was able to get by Esposito. And Jalen Crawford has a bucket. And that snaps a 6-0 run for IUPUI. 16 to 11, Jaguars on top. Hard out top with it. Lost it for a moment. Skips it left side for Esposito. Espo has it at half court. With the right-handed dribble, goes to the right elbow. Jumps into the air. Passes it on the right wing. A high arcing shot by Gibbs. I think that was blocked by Eagle. Here's Bradley coming the other way. They trail 16 to 11. Sims Edwards gets into the paint. Jump stop, missed the shot. He wanted a foul. Esposito with the rebound. Espo in transition. Finds Shanklin on the left wing. He'll pass it out top to Hart. And this game will breathe for just a moment. With 11.57 to play. Esposito out top between the circles. Right wing, Hart. Now onto the right baseline, Gibbs. Back out top to Shanklin. He'll swing it left wing. Deep three by Esposito off the front of the rim. And the rebound snatched out of the air by Walt Lemon. Lemon dumps it down low. Prosser all alone. And he got the dunk to go. It rolled across the front of the rim. He almost missed the dunk. But Prosser gets his first bucket, and it's a one possession game. IUPUI leading 16 to 13 with 11 minutes and 23 seconds to play. Shanklin between the circles. Passes it outside of the arc, left for Gibbs. He'll skip it cross court, right side for Hart. Now it's into the paint for Patton. Turn around, shot with the left hand is good. Soft floater from eight feet in the paint for Mitch Patton. His first bucket. IUPUI 18, Bradley 13 with 11 minutes to play in the first half. Shanklin guarding Lemon out top. Egolf has it, right elbow. Now he passes into the paint. Prosser back to the basket, goes up for a right-handed hook shot. Foul on Mitch Patton, and the bucket is good. Jordan Prosser, the 6'9 junior, has an opportunity at a three-point play after this timeout. First foul on Mitch Patton sends the Braves to the stripe with 10 minutes and 48 seconds to play in the first half. IUPUI on top, 18 to 13 on Sports Radio 1260 WNDE. Life moves pretty fast these days. Convenience is what it's all about. Indiana Members Credit Union knows how important it is for you to have quick and easy access to your money. That's why we have an app. Now I can check my balances, transfer money, or look at recent transactions no matter where I am. Mobile money. It's another way Indiana Members Credit Union offers big city convenience with a small town feel. Stop by a branch and join today. Clinics for hours and locations. Wise basket. PUI on top by a score of 18 to 15 over the Bradley Braves. I'm Scott McCauley. Thanks for joining us on your iHeartRadio app on Sports Radio 1260 WNDE, or perhaps watching this game in HD quality on IUPUIJags.com, brought to you by Webstream Productions. 
Every IUPUI home game can be seen online in HD quality. And even select road games can be grabbed. I always recommend if you can see the video on the road, turn that on and pipe that down and dial us up. Shooting the free throw, number 44 is Jordan Prosser. Jaguars leading by five. Prosser flexes, fires, and completes the three-point play. Substitution now, pick it back into the game. Prosser is out. Let's set for Bradley. You have Lemon, pick it. Boy, he is some athletic-looking transfer. Egolf, Eastman, and on the ball defending right now for the first time is Kadero Bell for Bradley. IUPUI has Hart, Gibbs, Shanklin, Marcellus, Barksdale, and Lionel Gaines check in for the first time. Hart has it out top. He'll cross over. Boy, he'll get around Lemon into the paint. Kick it on the wing for Barksdale. He'll swing it around to the right side. Shanklin dribbles to the free throw line. Shot blocked by Egolf. He passes it down court in an easy layup for Jake Eastman. And it's a one-point game at 18 to 17. Now a steal in the backcourt. And Bradley can take the lead. Pickett has it guarded by Gaines. Out top, Eagle. Eagle's pass deflected into the air and picked up by Hart. Hart coast to coast and IUPUI. Back out in front. 20 to 18. Now on the left wing, Eastman right back out to Lemon. He'll shoot a three and Bradley retakes the lead. And a timeout by Todd Howard. But Bradley comes out of that timeout and they quickly score six straight and they lead 21 to 20 with nine minutes and 39 seconds to play. Good ball movement by Bradley and Jordan Shanklin did not come out defensively to challenge the shooter Walt Lemon and Shanklin is going to take a seat. Greg Rice is going to re-enter the game. Tough stretch for the sophomore Shanklin who had a shot block at the free throw line that turned into a fast break layup. Turned it over in the backcourt and then didn't defend on the three and Todd Howard quickly gets him out. So Rice is in. Second three of the game for Lemon. Bradley 21, IUPUI 20, Jaguars have the basketball. Out at the top, it's Greg Rice between the circles. He'll dribble with his left, jumping on the left wing for Gaines. Lobs in on the far left block for Patton. Back to the basket, dribbles into the paint. Double team, Mitch can't get the basketball and it's a jump ball. Soon as he went to the paint, Jake Eastman left his guard at the top. Tied up, Mitch Patton. And now Bradley leading by one has possession of the basketball. Lemon will walk it across half court. He will be greeted there by Greg Rice. Pass it, free throw line for Eastman. Eastman guarded by Barksdale. Left wing, Lemon. Bounce pass, left baseline, Pickett. Squares up on Gaines. Backs his way into the paint, jump stop, and we got a whistle. He was pushed as he got into the paint. And Lionel Gaines, too aggressive on the defensive end, picks up his first personal foul. Tight shot, Pickett, 6'6", 220. He looks like an NBA player. A transfer. Bradley inbounds it. They have it out top for Lemon. Lemon goes around Rice. Stops in front of the free throw line. His pass onto the right wing deflected. Stolen away. Rice in transition. Gets it to Barksdale. Barksdale lobs it for Gaines down low. One dribble goes up for a shot blocked. Now IUPUI trying to reset the offense. Greg Rice left wing outside of the arc. Left elbow for Patton, he'll put it on the floor, dribble down the lane, dump it in the far corner, and Marcellus Barksdale, looking for his first points of the season, missed a three from the left corner. Boy, they had a fast break opportunity, but Bradley does a great job to get back. Eight minutes and 25 seconds to play, Bradley 21, IUPUI 20. Right block, Pickett throws it down low, and missing the shot down low was Will Eagle. Eastman nearly steals it in the backcourt and it will go over to the Jaguars. Boy, keep an eye on him, Eastman. 
This Bradley team, led by their head coach, Gino Ford, really getting after the IUPUI defensively. Gino Ford, a first team Mid-American Conference player, while he was at Ohio, he played with the Shack of the Mac, Gary Trent. Right side, outside of the arc. It's for Rice, he gets it out top to Pat, who hands it off to Rice. Gray crosses over, gets inside the free throw line, puts up a jump shot, not there. Crashing the boards was Pickett for Bradley, and the ball went out of bounds, last touched by Bradley. It will be IUPUI basketball, actually check that, the officials come together and they say, it will be Bradley ball. We'll double check it after this timeout. Seven minutes and 51 seconds to play. Bradley now on top of IUPUI. 21-20 on Sports Radio 1260 WNDE. In today's fast-paced world, you should not have to wait to get a debit card. Stop by any Indiana Members Credit Union branch, become a member, and walk out with your new debit card instantly. No more waiting days for your debit card to arrive. We strive to simplify your financial life. An instant debit card is one more way Indiana Members Credit Union offers big city convenience with a small town feel. Join today. Bradley 21, IUPUI 20. Jaguars have hit only four of their last 11 shots. And Bradley really doing a number defensively against the Jaguars. They're starting to pressure their guards. They forced a jump ball in tying up Mitch Patton. And on the offensive end, they are starting to heat up from downtown. Each coach has been forced to burn a timeout in the first half. Bradley has Eastman, Crawford, Eagle, Pickett, and Sims Edwards on the floor. Esposito back out on the floor along with Barksdale, Gibbs, Rice, and Patton. And it will be IUPUI basketball. It was knocked out by Pickett of Bradley. So the initial call stood. Right wing outside of the arc for Barksdale. Out top, Esposito. Now left wing for Gibbs, trying to get it into Patton, he can't do it, so Donovan will dribble in the paint, kick it out straight on for Barksdale. Right back to Gibbs, back to Barksdale. Now right wing, outside of the arc for Rice. Gets it inside to Patton, twisting layup is good as Mitch was fouled and he gets it to go. Second field goal for Mitch, and he'll step to the free throw line for the first time. Reaching and then the foul by Pickett. His first, each team now with two personals with seven minutes and 33 seconds to play. So Mitch is at the stripe. Now nine of 13 this year at the line. Jaguars needed that, they are back out in front by two. 23 to 21, seven and a half to play. Pick it out top, guarded by Gibbs. Hands it off to Eastman, he stops at the left elbow, dumps it back, Sims Edwards fires a three off the mark. Rebound, tapped away, still loose into the backcourt. Bradley picks it up. It's Crawford with the dribble. He'll dribble to the right wing, pass it out top Eagle. He'll hand it off to Eastman, who turns the corner inside the free throw line. Dumps it on the wing, a far three by Crawford as well, short. Another offensive rebound, this one to pick it into the paint. Spins, floats, whistles, and a traveling violation. Gino Ford beside himself with that call. Bill X says steps, turnover. Looks like Prosser and Lemon will check in. The next opportunity for Bradley. Esposito out top now. It's into the hands of Barksdale. High point between the circles. Patton, right wing. Espo, he replaces Patton at the top. Hands it off to Gibbs. Now right side, Barksdale. Looking into Mitch, can't get it there. 
Instead, it's Gibbs who bounces it into Patton. Fall away shot. Good defense by Eagle. Offensive board for IUPUI. It ends up in the hands of Esposito. He will miss a three. And Bradley grabs the defensive board. And Crawford walks it across half court. Jaguars lead 23 to 21. Sims Edwards right side. Pickett straight on. Now left wing Crawford will use the pick by Pickett. Dumps it back to Pickett. Left baseline jumper is good and he will hold his hand up in the air. A la Patrick Ewing as he runs down court. Pickett with six. Tied at 23. IUPUI lobs it on the block, an immediate triple team on Patton, and it's stripped away. Bradley in transition. Crawford to Eastman, left-handed layup is good. They immediately converged on Patton, knocked the ball away, and it led to a fast break layup. Bradley by two. IUPUI in the offensive set. Gibbs right wing. Gibbs one dribble, out high post. For Patton, he'll dribble to the left wing, hand it off to Rice, he'll use that handoff, and a brick bounced off the right side of the backboard from straight on. Five minutes and 24 seconds to play. IUPUI needing a stop. Crawford guarded by Rice. Edward Sims has it. Out top, Eastman. Now into the paint. Pickett against Gibbs. He walked again. He traveled again. There's the call. You know, he's leaning in and looking for contact. But he keeps walking. He's got a smile on his face as if they've done him wrong. I'm sorry, Tyshawn, but you are clearly walking. As a matter of fact, he's walking every time he touches the ball. Multiple steps. It shuffles his feet. Now, granted, Gibbs is there leaning on them, but it's give and take. And Bradley leading by two. John Hart back into the game for the Jaguars. Hart has it. Esposito takes the seat. Hart straight on, guarded by Lemon. Lemon with the quick hands, knocks it away. Hart keeps the dribble and then a blocking foul on Lemon. Number one on Walt Lemon, the 6'3 junior from Chicago, Illinois. He's the top returning scorer on this team. IUPUI to inbound, Gibbs triggers it. And he gets it to Rice. Under five to play in the first half. John Hart, left side out top, near half court for Rice, guarded by Crawford. Rice puts his head down, dribbles into the paint, dumps it behind him to the free throw line, and Donovan Gibbs hits the jumper. And we're tied at 25. Defense collapsed on Rice, simply handed it off behind him, and Gibbs hit the 15-foot jump shot. Prosser out top. Prosser trying to get it inside. Instead, it goes into the hands of Shiok Shiok, number 23, who just checked in off the bench. Shiok Shiok gets it back to Lemon. Lemon dribbles to the right wing. Goal down low is Prosser, and he was fouled by Gibbs. He did not account for number 44. He found himself all alone, and Donovan Gibbs picks up his first. And a couple of free throws for Jordan Prosser. 6'4 junior from Goodfield, Illinois. Entering this game, Prosser was six rebounds away from 400 in his career. Short on the free throw. Esposito back in, Barksdale is out. Four minutes and 10 seconds to play opening half. Second one for Prosser, trying to give the Braves the lead. He rattles it home. Bradley 26, IUPUI 25. Approaching the four minute mark. Sheok picks up Gibbs at half court. Gibbs nearly lost the dribble. Gets it back. Still with that dribble in his pocket pick by Sims Edwards. One on one against Espo. Pump fake, Espo clears. Gibbs blocked the shot off the glass. Rebound knocked out of bounds. And it will go over to Bradley. Espo went for the pump fake, but that forced Sims Edwards to wait a minute. Gibbs got down court, swatted the ball off the glass. And inbounding underneath the basket will be Bradley after this timeout. 3.54 to play before half. Bradley 26, IUPUI 25. Let's wow, life moves pretty fast these days. Convenience is what it's all about. Indiana Members Credit Union knows how important it is for you to have quick and easy access to your money. That's why we have an app. Now I can check my balances, transfer money, or look at recent transactions no matter where I am. Mobile money. 
It's another way Indiana Members Credit Union offers big city convenience with a small town feel. Stop by a branch and join today. the jungle in a good one the visitors from Bradley on top 26 to 25 they are shooting an even 50 percent 11 of 22 they already have five steals and five blocks how about this stat nine assists on their 11 buckets IUPUI shooting 40 percent from the floor they have eight assists on their 10 buckets four assists by Greg Rice his last one going to Donovan Gibbs Six points for Tyshawn Pickett, Walt Lemon Jr. and Jordan Prosser. They lead Bradley, double figures for John Hart. He has 10 points, he's four of six from the floor, including perfect on both of his threes. Bradley inbounding underneath their own hoop. Bradley trying to fire it into Pickett, bad pass. Rice the other way. Bounce pass up ahead to Esposito and he gets the right-handed layup to go. Fifth assist for Rice and that was a beauty. He had to throw it perfectly. There was a Bradley player ready to snatch it off. However, it was out of his reach right to Esposito and Sean lays it in. Jaguars by one. Crawford trying to answer with a three. Too strong. Rebound by John Hart. Hart across half court. Snaps it into the far left corner. Now he's swinging around back into the hands of Hart of Hart, he dribbles into the free throw line. Nothing there, it ends up into the hands of Patton, and he buries a jumper at the free throw line. Good ball movement, led to that open look by Mitch. He has a half a dozen, and IUPUI now on top by three, as they have scored four straight points coming out of the timeout. Three minutes to play before half. Left arc, Lemon Jr., guarded by Rice. Now dumps it down, left block. Egolf squares up on Patton, goes into the paint, and he traveled. Great job by Greg Rice. Greg Rice collapsed down, had a double team. Egolf lost his footing as soon as Rice came down. Jalen Crawford takes his seat. Jake Eastman back on the floor. Two minutes and 47 seconds, clock running, IUPUI by three. Gibbs with the ball handle. Gibbs goes down the right side of the lane and threw it away. It was deflected by Bradley. White ball. White ball. White ball. That's white ball. He hit it out. Now the white officials ball. are going to come together. I thought that was deflected by Bradley. And it is. It was touched by Bradley. So it will be an IUPUI ball. Gibbs to inbound. It gets it to Rice. He's in half court. High point between the circles. Gibbs now left arc for Hart, between the circles, get Rice. Price's pass, bad pass, but Esposito's able to get it back. Right arc, dribbles into the paint. On the baseline, Patton shot, wiped out of bounds by Eagle. Another block by Bradley's big man, Will Eagle. That time he swatted Patton's jumper from the right baseline. Two minutes and 25 seconds to play before the half. Shot clock sits at 10. John Hart to inbound, right side. First option not there, second option is Patton. He hands it off to Hart, who dribbles straight on. Now he enters the pass into the paint. Fall away shot not there, offensive put back. Off the mark by Gibbs. Lemon dribbling down the near sideline, hands it off to Sims Edwards. He gets it to Eastman, who weaves into the paint and gets an eight foot runner to go. Jake Eastman with a half a dozen. IUPUI by one, 29-28. Left corner, Esposito could not hit the three. Lemon now the other way. 
Lemon in front of our broadcast location here near left sideline. Dribbles to the right wing, bounce pass off to Sims Edwards. Now left arc, Eastman holds it. Left sideline, Lemon has it, guarded by Rice. He'll dribble out to the high left arc. Wants a pick by Pickett. Now there's a mismatch down low, Rice on Pickett. And Rice does a nice job, but leaves Pickett, who's all alone down low. Missed the shot, rebound by Hart. Hart across half court. He'll retreat with the dribble, IUPUI by one. One minute and 22 seconds to play. First half here in Indianapolis. Hart, left side, now dribbles straight on. Now attacks, teardrop from 10 feet is good, just inside of the right elbow. 31-28, approaching one minute to play. Bradley with the basketball. Lemon across half court, dribbling from right to left. Bounce pass at the top to Pickett, swings it. Left sideline, Eastman's three is up off the mark. Rebound battled for, and it goes out of bounds off of Mitch Patton. I think Eagle got away with one. It looked like he was on the back of Patton. And that's how the ball went out of bounds. So fresh clock for Bradley. Under a minute to play, they lob it out, left arc for Lemon Jr. He turns the corner down the right sideline. Scoop layup is not there, but a blocking foul on Mitch Patton. That will be number two on Mitch. And Lemon will head to the line and shoot a pair as the clock stops with 49 and 6 tenths seconds to play before half. Lemon four for five at the free throw line through two games this year. Six times he eclipsed 20 points. That was his sophomore campaign for Bradley. First freebie off the front of the rim, it is. Two point game, 31 to 29. Big Cam Lepker comes off the bench. Mitch Patton will sit. Cam, the 6'9", 275 pound senior from Lafayette Central Catholic. Second one for Lemon, he bangs it home. So Lemon with them both, one point game. 31-30 IUPUI the ball. Bradley will get a possession unless the Jaguars can get a rebound. And there's a foul out top by Lemon trying to jump the passing lane and he ran into John Hart left side. <laughs> Number two on him, fourth team foul. 41 and 9 tenths second on the clock, 35 on the shot clock. So almost seven seconds the difference. Rice at half court, guarded tightly by Bell. Hands it off to Esposito. He is now between the circles. Wants a pick by Lepker. Dribbles to the right side, hands it off to Hart. Hart dribbles, right arc. Hart trying to get into the paint. He dribbles in, kicks it in the left corner pocket, and Rice buries the three. 34-30, shot clock turned off, 20 seconds to play. Great look by John Hart. 15 seconds to play. Sims Edwards at half court, guarded by Esposito. 10 seconds. Now he makes his move, left wing, left arc. Seven seconds, now straight on, dumps it left side. Eastman, pump fake, dribbles in, floater from the elbow, not there. Put back, not there. Rebound underneath is a jump ball, and we are tied at intermission. Or excuse me, it's IUPUI on top at intermission. 34-30, the tie was the tie up on the ball on the rebound down low. Great close by the Jaguars. IUPUI gets a three in the far left corner pocket by Greg Rice on their final possession of the half, all set up by a terrific dribble drive penetration by John Hart. And IUPUI leads at the break, 34 to 30. Over Bradley on Sports Radio 1260 WNDE. In today's fast-paced world, you should not have to wait to get a debit card. Stop by any Indiana Members Credit Union branch, become a member, and walk out with your new debit card instantly. No more waiting days for your debit card to arrive. We strive to simplify your financial life. An instant debit card is one more way Indiana Members Credit Union offers big city convenience with a small town feel. Join today.
downtown, four of five at the free throw line. At the half, IUPUI, 34, and Bradley, 30, still awaiting IUPUI to come on out of their locker room as soon as they do. We will hear from associate head coach Matt Crenshaw, and now the Jaguars finally emerge, so we'll have the coach come over and let us know what the message was at the half and what his overall general impressions were of that first half. And here comes Matt Crenshaw. Let's see if he'll just walk right over to us. Coach, we appreciate you coming by. You know, looking at this roster, they had some big boys and they're pretty active on defense. But your team really responded well. Did they play you defensively the way that you anticipated them playing you in that first half? Yes, they, they played a Mac typical style when he was at Kent State. Physical, get up in you, aggressive. We kind of shot away and got pushed out a lot a couple times offensively. The times, like in the half, we need to play more like that. As they take us out of our sets, you just go by that defender and pass, make the extra pass, you get wide open shots. They're over help, pack the paint kind of team. So we just drive it, handle the pressure, beat that man, they're gonna help, and then swing it, you'll get wide open shots. Mitch Patton, you can see obviously, there's now tape on you, Mitch, after you have a big double-double against Bowling Green. Clearly, as soon as he gets the ball, you can really see their guards sucked down on there. How did you think Mitch handled that? It looked like he was able to make some adjustments with that as the half went on. We have to, we have to swing it. It's hard, it'll be hard on Mitch or any player if you just throw it in the post and they can load up. But coach talked about get it from side to side and then hit, throw it inside to the post and you'll get a wide open shot where they won't be able to just run three and four guys at Mitchell. But Mitchell did a good job. Sims Edwards was quiet. Boy, you can see that Pickett is quite an athletic player. Defensively for you, what adjustments, if any, do you need to make in this final 20 minutes? Just handle the action and really um, be consistent on the glass, rebounding and and getting their shooters, challenging shots, but really we have to do a, a war in the paint. We, we have to maintain the paint defensively and, and help Mitch and Donovan out. It's a physical game. It is. And you like that. I wish I was out there. <laughs> <laughs> we think, thanks for coming by and joining us here at the half, Coach. That's Associate Head Coach Matt Crenshaw. It is a physical game. You can see it out there just how physical it is. Bradley really wants to get up into your face. That's the Geno Ford style, and IUPUI was able to overcome that type of pressure in the first 20 minutes. They lead at the half, we'll take a timeout, come back with second half action, IUPUI at the break, leading Bradley 34-30 on Sports Radio 1260, WNDE. Wow, life moves pretty fast these days. Convenience is what it's all about. Indiana Members Credit Union knows how important it is for you to have quick and easy access to your money. That's why we have an app. Now I can check my balances, transfer money, or look at recent transactions no matter where I am. Mobile money. It's another way Indiana Members Credit Union offers big city convenience with a small town feel. Stop by a branch and join today. I'm Scott McCauley, and welcome back inside the jungle in Indianapolis. Second half action, ready to go. IUPUI on top of Bradley, 34 to 30. The Bradley Braves throw their starters out onto the floor. Jake Eastman, who had six points in the first half. Tyshawn Pickett, he had a half a dozen. Will Eagle had two but four block shots. Walt Lemon, who had eight. And Tyreka Sims Edwards, a big donut in the first half. IUPUI starts possession. They have their starters on the floor in the very first entry pass, kicked out of bounds. Sean Esposito trying to enter it from the left sideline to the left block. For IUPUI, Greg Rice is on the floor. He had three, Sean Esposito had seven. John Hart with a game high 12, Donovan Gibbs with five. And a half a dozen for Mitch Patton. Jaguars come out, Sean Esposito gets his way into the paint. 
Gets a pass down low to Patton, and he's able to get it off the glass from the left wing. Boy, and the defense not nearly as aggressive when Mitch had that ball down low as they were in the first half. Perhaps the five of 11 shooting from downtown in the first half will have a little more breathing room or allow some breathing room for Patton. Sims Edwards misses a three from the left side. And the rebound to IUPUI, Greg Rice into the paint, penetrates, kicks it on the wing, Hart's three is short. And the rebound to Lemon for Bradley. Lemon dribbling down the court, and then he lost the ball. It was a palming violation. And a turnover for Bradley. They had seven of them in the first half. And Gino Ford wanted an explanation, and he gets one from our lead official, Bill Eck. IUPUI on top, 36-30. Esposito penetrates from the right wing. Too strong off the glass. Sim Edwards near sideline, throws it up. Egolf catches it in stride. Does not put it on the floor and lays it in with a right. IUPUI on top by four, 36-32. One minute and 13 seconds in, second half action. John Hart straight on, now left Art for Rice, out top, high point, gets the handoff to Rice from Patton. Now left arc, left sideline. Esposito, bounce pass, left block for Patton, kicks it out to the free throw line, Gibbs, pump fake, dribbles in, kicks it back out top to Espo. Now Patton has it straight on, shot clock at nine, Mitch puts it on the floor, down the left side of the lane, shot blocked, and Mitch hits the deck. Six seconds on the shot clock. Fifth block of this game for Will Eagle. IUPUI will have John Hart inbound underneath the baseline, underneath the basket rather, left side of that baseline. He gets it into Patton, 15 foot jumper left, baseline is good, nice set. That's four points out of the break for Mitch. She now has double figures. Double figures for the third time in four games, eighth time in his career, Egolf on the block. Right-handed hook shot, not there. Offensive rebound missed by Pickett. Battle for the board, pulled down by Bradley and Mitch Patton, I think, might be hit for a over the back, and he is. Number three on Mitch. So Mitch will take a seat, and Lionel Gaines, who played only three minutes in the first half, will come in. Nell, 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 he's coming down, now he's coming down. Body up, Nell, body up. Bradley to inbound, left side of their basket. Eastman slaps it. Trying to get it into Pickett, can't do it. They'll lob it into Pickett, left block. Double team, and a reach and foul. And it's either gonna be a reach and foul in Hart or Nell pushing in the back, and it's going to be on Gaines. So another inbound underneath for Bradley. 38-32 IUPUI on top. They led by four at the break. Coming out of this inbound, they get it on the left baseline. Edward Sims goes all the way up, missed the dunk, he wanted a foul. Here's Rice the other way, moving from right to left. Stutter step into the paint, kicks it in the left corner pocket. Espo off the mark of the rebound on the weak side by Eagle. Now Walt Lemon Jr. the push into the paint, puts his head down, and a blocking foul on Rice. Boy, and Greg Rice thought that he was there. Lemon put his head down and went into it. First on Rice, and now it's three fouls already for IUPUI. It's an offensive foul every day of the week. Just had a chance to see the replay. That's a gift for Bradley. 38-32, they have the basketball. Walt Lemon shakes free into the paint, dumps it down low. Nice move underneath from the left to the right. The reverse by Eastman. He has eight, boy, nice athletic move. On the dish by Lemon, 38-34. Nell dribbling out top, guarded by Pickett. Gets it to Hart, crosses over. His pass deflected away. Bradley breaks out in the open court. Lemon goes down court and throws it home. He is in double figures. 38-36, and the fans who came over on the bus from Peoria on their feet. 17 minutes and five seconds to play. Gibbs at the elbow, his pass deflected away. Sims Edwards racing down court, into the paint, finger roll over the front of the rim. 38 all. A 6-0 run by Bradley has tied the game up. No timeout by Todd Howard. 
He'll let his offense run it. Now he'll call the timeout. With 16.44 to play, Bradley right back into this game. It is tied at 38, and we'll take a timeout on Sports Radio 1260 WNDE. In today's fast-paced world, you should not have to wait to get a debit card. Stop by any Indiana Members Credit Union branch, become a member, and walk out with your new debit card instantly. No more waiting days for your debit card to arrive. We strive to simplify your financial life. An instant debit card is one more way Indiana Members Credit Union offers big city convenience with a small town feel. Join today. It will be IUPUI basketball coming out of this timeout. And the Jaguars offensively, they're not getting anything going these last couple of possessions because Bradley has elected to really bring out the pressure. And whenever the big man Donovan Gibbs has handled the ball, they have jumped on him. Now during that timeout, Jake Eastman was tended to. He has a bloody lip. And the 6'5 senior from Richmond, Virginia, who has eight points, is out there, but a little blood in his mouth. Gibbs to inbound. Gibbs, Rice, Esposito, Gaines with Patton saddled with three fouls, and Hart on the floor. Crawford comes off the bench for Bradley along with Prosser. Prosser had six first half points. Jaguars with the offense. Gaines has it, top of the key. Left sideline for Rice, he'll dribble to the top of the key. Snaps it down to the left baseline for Gaines. He'll dribble in the paint, ends up into the hands of Donovan Gibbs. Right side along the baseline, and he missed the jumper. And Lionel Gaines is going to be hit on the rebound attempt. That's number three on Gaines. Right now the fouls, IUPUI four, nothing for Bradley. Bradley dribbling from left to right on your radio dial. Lemon Jr. goes all the way baseline, finger roll short, and the rebound knocked in. They're going to credit Prosser, but I think that was knocked in by Gibbs. This is an 8-0 run, and Bradley is called for a foul. And the Bronx cheer from the IUPUI fans. Foul on Jalen Crawford, his first. 16.04 to play, IUPUI now trailing by two. Rice dribbles to the left wing, snaps a pass in the corner to Esposito, back out to Rice. Rice with the dribble. And he has a double team, he loses the ball, and now a whistle at the free throw line as Gibbs tried to pass, and Crawford has picked up number two with 15.49 to play. A physical game, and Bradley right now enjoys a 38 to 40 lead it's their first lead since they were on top 26 to 25 timeout in indianapolis on sports radio 1260 w n d e wow life moves pretty fast these days convenience is what it's all about indiana members credit union knows how important it is for you to have quick and easy access to your money that's why we have an app now I can check my balances, transfer money, or look at recent transactions no matter where I am. Mobile money. It's another way Indiana Members Credit Union offers big city convenience with a small town feel. Stop by a branch and join today.
two of seven in the second half. And IUPUI has committed two turnovers in the second half. However, foul trouble starting to become a problem. They have 14 fouls in this half. It was four zip, but two recent ones now have been called on Bradley. But three fouls on Lionel Gaines and three fouls on Mitch Pat. And Bradley has been able to amp up the defense and flash some athleticism. 15 minutes and 49 seconds to play. IUPUI has now gone just, just two minutes without a bucket. Not nearly as, actually check that. It is as long as I thought. They've now gone four and a half minutes without a bucket. So they've gone four and a half minutes since their last field goal. 8-0 run, but IUPUI has the basketball. Left arc, it's into the hands of Hart. He'll dribble straight on, cross over, lost the handle. Now dumps it left sideline for Rice. Back out top to Hart. Steps into the line, was fouled on the jump shot, and he will shoot two. Came right inside the arc with a step, and he will shoot a pair. Hart is 0 for 4 this year at the line. Jim, very quiet. All you can hear is the buzzing of the gymnasium lights. It's the first freebie. Now you PUI down by one, another one coming for Hart. Crawford's going to take a seat. Second one is up, and he got them both. To tie the game up at 40. Esposito, Hart, Gibbs, Rice, Barksdale on the floor for IUPUI. Pickett, Sims Edwards, Eastman, Prosser, and Lemon on the floor for Bradley. Bradley has the basketball tied at 40. Sims Edwards from the right wing, dribbles into the paint, dumps it off to Pickett, and Pickett lays it in from the left block. 42-40, eight points now for Pickett. Jaguars down by two, left arc, quick three is up by John Hart, buries the triple. So Hart hits his third three, and IUPUI back out in front by a point. 43-42. Out top, Pickett, guarded by Barksdale. Now right sideline, Eastman has it, trying to get it to Pickett on the block. Pickett has it, backs his way in against Barksdale, and we got a whistle on Barksdale defending Pickett. Number one on Marcellus. And it will be Bradley Ball underneath their hoop. And now back into the game is the 6'9", sixth-year senior, Will Eagle. Two ACL injuries have given him this medical hardship in this sixth year. He wants the ball down low on the block. Sims Edwards dribbles to the right elbow, kicks it out top. Lemon misses the three. Rebound tapped out of bounds, or excuse me, tapped down court. But Eagle was on the black, on the back of IUPUI. And that's number two on him. IUPUI 43, Bradley 42. 14 minutes and 41 seconds to play. Into the front court, Barksdale. Left side, Esposito. Out top to Gibbs. Guarded by Prosser. Puts it on the floor. Now hands it off to Rice. Straight on between the circles. He'll drive to the left. Nothing there. Now he's outside of the arc. He'll dribble to the high point. Swings it left side for Barksdale. Cross court pass, right corner pocket. Esposito dribbles baseline, kicks it out to Rice. Three around the rim and out. Good ball movement. Had an open look, but Rice could not hit the shot. Bradley down by one with the basketball. Left side, Sims Edwards drives left baseline into the air, lost the ball. Rice with the good hands. Now Rice has it, far sideline. He'll now spin around there, jump into the air and throw the ball away and Eastman will go all the way down by himself and lay it in. Bradley back out in front by one. Awful pass by Rice. It was as if Eastman was the intended target. 13-42 to play. 43, IUPUI trailing Bradley, 44-43. Right side of the arc. Rice out top, Barksdale, he'll put it on the floor down the right side of the lane, put up a shot, blocked out of bounds. <laughs> 17 seconds on the shot clock. Done. 
Hart to inbound underneath the hoop, looking for somebody. Gets it to Gibbs, two men converge. Don dribbles baseline, kicks it out. The open shooter is Esposito. He'll miss the three in the rebound, tapped to Bradley. The Braves now push it, middle of the court. Walt Lemon Jr., stutter step goes around Hart, puts up a shot off the glass, not there. Rebound by Barksdale, good block out on Prosser. Marcellus snaps it ahead, Espo catch. Dribbles in, nothing there, gives it to Rice. He'll go in, he's bumped and will shoot two. He found himself open along the left lane. He was bumped by Prosser. Number one on Prosser. And a chance now to tie with the first free throw and take the lead with a second. Rice was seven of eight at the stripe Tuesday in the win against Bowling Green when he poured in a career high 21 points. The senior from Indianapolis. His first one is up and good. We're tied at 44. Four points for Rice. Next one is up and good. IUPUI back out in front. 45 to 44, yet another lead change in Indianapolis. With 13 minutes to play, the visiting Bradley Braves. 2-0 out of the Missouri Valley Conference taking on IUPUI. Jaguars 2-1. And, and there's a tip pass. And IUPUI trying to move it down court. Hart in transition, buries a three. At no point was that basketball ever controlled until Hart got it. It was go, tapped into the air, go, kept go. alive, and Hart hit the three, and a timeout called. But before that, Bradley stepped out of bounds. And Eastman has to be held back by his coaching staff. 12.32 to play. Gino Ford wanted to call a timeout. However, stepping along the sideline was Bradley. And it will be IUPUI ball. And afterwards, Barksdale and IUPUI showing some emotion had Bradley step up on him. 48-44, 12.30 to play. A good one in Indianapolis. Straight on John Hart. He's hit four threes in this one. Dribbles to the right side, pulls up, fall away from 16, and buries it just inside of the arc. And John Hart is heating up for IUPUI. It's a six point Jaguars advantage. A 7 0 run for IUPUI, and a timeout called by Bradley with 12 minutes and 12 seconds to play. A six point lead for the Jaguars. And it's all about John Hart. He had 12 in the first half, and Hart starting to heat up. And the biggest play was a wild steal that led to the ball being batted into the air across half court. Finally, it was Hart that took it and buried a three. On the next possession, he had a fallaway shot from 18 feet on the right wing. 22 points for John Hart. A new career high for the fifth year senior. 12-12 to play in the game. IUPUI by six, Bradley has the basketball. It's a 7-0 run for IUPUI. Eastman has it straight on. He'll put it on the floor down the right side of the lane. Nothing there, forces up a shot, and the rebound knocked out of bounds. Last touched by IUPUI. Timeout here in the jungle. 11.59 to play, IUPUI over Bradley. 50 to 44 on Sports Radio 1260 WNDE. In today's fast paced world, you should not have to wait to get a debit card. Stop by any Indiana Members Credit Union branch, become a member, and walk out with your new debit card instantly. No more waiting days for your debit card to arrive. We strive to simplify your financial life. An instant debit card is one more way Indiana Members Credit Union offers big city convenience with a small town feel. Join today.
basketball on WNDE. It was an 8-0 run for Bradley that pushed a six-point deficit into a two-point lead for the Braves. However, IUPUI has responded with a 7-0 run. They now lead 50 to 44 with 11 minutes and 59 seconds to play. Each team shooting 45% for the game. 47% in the second half for Bradley, IUPUI at 42%. 22 points for John Hart. He is eight of 11 from the floor, four of five from three point range. 11 points for Mitch Patton. He's playing with three fouls and Mitch will be back on the floor for the Jaguars after this timeout with 11.59 to play. Bradley has two players in double figures, Jay Eastman with 10 and Walt Lemon Jr. with 10. Both coaches in their second year on the bench. Todd Howard, his second year at IUPUI, 18th overall with the university. For Geno Ford, it's his second year at Bradley. He's been a head coach for one season at Shawnee State, two seasons at Muskegon, then three years at Kent State before taking over the job at Bradley a season ago, a two-time MAC Coach of the Year. Bradley coming out of the timeout, gets it in the paint to pick it, and he puts it over top of Gibbs and off the glass. 50 to 46, a dozen now for Tyshawn Pickett. Jordan Shanklin is into the game for IUPUI, and Gibbs has the ball stolen away by Pickett. Pickett bumped, can't get the shot to go, and he will shoot two. Every time that Donovan Gibbs has had that ball out top, they've jumped all over him. And a turnover by Gibbs. It's the third turnover by Donovan. And pick it to shoot a pair. 60% at the line this year, 6 of 10. Well, he really takes his time and hits. He starts with a couple of dribbles, then starts very low and slowly uncoils to the top and lets it fire. There's the flex. Well, he starts to creep up to the top, straight up. And fires and he's good. Tell you what, that's rhythm. And it works for two. Two point game. IUPUI leading 50 to 48. John Hart dribbles all the way from the left wing to the right wing. Shot not there, rebound by Will Eagle. Now Bradley could tie it or take the lead with a three ball. Egolf has it straight on. He'll go down the middle of the lane, dump it off to Pickett, but he will throw it away in the process. Looked like Egolf had himself an easy layup. Fight, 11 minutes and 20 seconds to play. Jaguars by two, a good one here in Indianapolis. Right side, Esposito. Now out top, Hart. He'll swing it left sideline for Shanklin. He'll dribble out towards half court. Now he'll dribble in the direction of the right wing, reverse the pass left side. Esposito lobs it down the pat and 10 feet out. Back to the basket, goes into the paint, double team, kicks it out, Shanklin. He'll dribble left baseline, air ball from 15 feet. And the rebound by Bradley. Lemon with the basketball, guarded by Shanklin. Dribbling out top, still guarded by Shanklin. Gets inside the paint, 10 foot teardrop is short. Rebound by Mitch Patton for IUPUI. 10.34, clock running. IUPUI leading 50 to 48. Esposito has the basketball out top, guarded by Eastman. Espo swings it out top, near half court for Hart. He's guarded by Sims Edwards. He'll dribble with his left, bumped out top by Egolf, no call. And then fires a ball out of bounds to nobody. Turnover on Hart. He was bumped out top and then tried to snap a pass from the left wing into the right corner and it went out of bounds. Once again, Bradley, an opportunity to tie the game up or take the lead. Sims Edwards dumps it into the right corner down low. Pickett had possession on Patton and he ties the game up at 50 from the right block. Pickett now with six field goals. He has 14 points. Gibbs dribbling out top, stolen away by Eagle. He cannot control it though as it goes out of bounds and it will go to IUPUI. Now Greg Rice comes in, Jordan Shanklin will take a seat. 
9.48 to play. Greg Rice will handle the basketball. Rice wants to dribble to the right side. Now he'll swing it left wing for Esposito. He'll hand it off to Patton. Patton now has it left block. He goes in, nothing there. Ball out of bounds. Last touch by Bradley. Tied at 50. IUPUI inbounding. Hart slaps the leather. Looking for somebody. Gets it to Patton. Jump shot. Around the rim, not there. Gibbs with the putback from the right block. IUPUI back out in front by two. And a timeout. I believe called by IUPUI. So IUPUI now with two timeouts. No block out on Gibbs. Pickett let him slip underneath. Him. With nine minutes and 28 seconds to play. Boy, what a game. 52 to 50 IUPUI. Third meeting all time between the two programs. Second time they have played in Indianapolis. December of 2002, the Jaguars were a two point winner over Bradley. Danny Granger went for 20 plus in that game playing for Bradley. Now a member of the Indiana Pacers. On the floor for the Jaguars, it's Gibbs, Rice, Barksdale, Patton, and Esposito. Eagle, Sims Edwards, Eastman, Lemon, and Pickett on the floor for Bradley who has the basketball and they are dribbling from left to right on your dial. Walt Lemon Jr. now across half court into the front court. Sims Edwards has it. Left arc for Lemon. Now far left sideline for Sims Edwards. Bounce pass on the left block to Egolf. Back out to Sims Edwards. He dribbles into the right wing. His pass trying to skip it cross court. Deflected in the air by Esposito and Sean couldn't control it and ends up out of bounds. Shot clock at 16. Good hands by Esposito. Mop up some perspiration in front of the Bradley bench. Eastman to inbound it. 6'5", senior. Snaps it to half court where Lemon will handle it, guarded by Rice. Now left arc, Sims Edwards. Now right arc into the hands of Lemon. Now dumps it right corner pocket. Eastman fires a three. That's good. His first triple. And Bradley back out in front, 53 to 52. The, for Eastman, his first three of the season. Barksdale dribbling out top, and he's leaned on by Sims Edwards. And Edwards will pick up the personal foul. I believe that's number one on Dyrie Simmons. It is his first. John Hart back on the floor for IUPUI for Marcellus Barksdale on the floor for Bradley, Jalen Crawford, and Jordan Prosser. Bradley by one after the three by Jake Eastman. 53-52, IUPUI with the basketball. Gibbs out top, swings it left sideline for Esposito. Espo puts it on the floor, one bounce, gets it to Patton, now snaps it to Gibbs left sideline. Gibbs guarded by Pickett. He'll put it on the floor. He'll now turn the corner down the paint, puts a runner off the glass that's no good. Rebound cleared by Prosser of Bradley. Lemon quickly into the front court. Behind the back with the dribble between the legs. Crosses over, attacks right wing, and we got a reach in foul on Greg Rice, and it will be the one and one for Bradley. Walt Lemon will head to the free throw line where he is two for two tonight. He can handle the rock. The junior from Chicago. So the one and one for Walt Lemon Jr. Now Jordan Shanklin back into the game. He's due to have some good minutes. You have to block out. The front end is up and it's good. Two point lead for Bradley at 54, 52. And another free throw earned for Walt Lemon Jr. Came in averaging 11 and a half. He has 11 on the nose right now. Give him 12. Eight minutes and 20 seconds to play. Clock running. IUPUI now down by three. Greg Rice passes it out top to Patton, guarded by Prosser. He'll hand it off to Shanklin. Shanklin dribbling between the circles. Shanklin needs to get it to somebody. He gets it to Gibbs right now. 
It's back into the hands of Hart. Hart at half court. Hart has it picked away by Lemon. Lemon going the distance. He lost the ball on the way up. And John Hart, they're going to say, if he fouled him in the head, as I think they said, he hit him in the head, it will be two shots. Okay, so it was an inadvertent hit in the head. And it will be two shots. Tell you what, we see the replay. He did hit him on the head clearly. But Lemon was losing that ball on the way up. He earned it. He'll get two after this timeout. 7.56 to play. Bradley now leading 55-52 on Sports Radio 1260 WNDE. While life moves pretty fast these days, convenience is what it's all about. Indiana Members Credit Union knows how important it is for you to have quick and easy access to your money. That's why we have an app. Now I can check my balances, transfer money, or look at recent transactions no matter where I am. Mobile money. It's another way Indiana Members Credit Union offers big city convenience with a small town feel. Stop by a branch and join today. IUPUI 52. IUPUI right now being outworked down low by the Bradley Braves. Bradley doing a number on the Jaguars down low on the blocks. 13 points for Jake Eastman, 12 points for Walt Lemon Jr., and now 14 for Tyshawn Pickett, who also has seven rebounds. Jaguars are being out rebounded this half 14 to 7. 32 to 23 for the game. 53% shooting in the second half for Bradley. They are 10 of 19. IUPUI shooting 35% in the second half. IUPUI is 6 of 17. John Hart is 8 of 12. If you take away his shooting, the rest of the team is 3 for 12. Shooting two out of this timeout is Lemon Jr. IUPUI has committed six turnovers here in the second half. We have played just a little more than 13 minutes after committing only five in the first 20 minutes. So Lemon is shooting a pair. And the 6'3 Jr. A southpaw bangs in the first. Hit the rim and the backboard and dropped. 56 to 52. And now this next free throw can give Bradley their largest lead of the game. It's up and it's down. Six for six at the line in this one. A five point Bradley lead. Bradley now on an 11-2 run. Their largest lead of the game and that run is snapped by Greg Rice who gets free down the left sideline and is able to lay it in. Rice with seven points. Three point game, 57-54. Seven minutes and 38 seconds to play. Prosser has it right block against Patton. Gets some room, missed it. Pickett puts it in on the rebound. 59-54. Another board for Bradley. Greg Rice down the right side of the lane. His shot was blocked out of bounds. And IUPUI will inbound underneath the hoop. Trailing by five. John Hart will inbound. Substitution, Jake Eastman back on the floor. He's in for Crawford. Hart inbounding, trying to find a man. Snaps it far right corner pocket, Esposito. He'll dribble to the right wing. Hand it off to Rice, fall away, shot is good. Tough shot from 18 feet after getting the handoff from Esposito. So Greg Rice trying to heat up, 
key by UPUI in this game. Down by three, Bradley has the basketball. Eastman left elbow, double team. Trying to get it down low. Now bounce pass to Pickett against Gibbs. Turn, shot, not there. Another rebound. This one belongs to Prosser, but he has it stripped away by Hart. Hart, one on two. Into the paint, kicks it out of the wing. A three is up and good! Greg Rice scores seven consecutive IUPUI points. And we are tied up at 59. Another dribble drive kick out by John Hart. 59 all. 6.30 to play in the game. Sims Edwards out top. Left sideline, Eastman. Eastman uses a high pick by Prosser. Prosser rolls, Eastman couldn't get in the ball. Pass down low, deflected by Gibbs. Right back to Bradley and they find Pickett down low for an easy layup. 61-59. Rice dribbling across half court into the front court. He'll burst to the left elbow, dump it back to Patton and he was fouled by Eastman as Eastman tried to slap the ball away and he got the skin of Patton and Mitch. We'll shoot the one and one, an opportunity to tie the game up. First on Eastman with the reach in. Patton hits the first. Now he'll get the other one. 6.05 to play. And IUPUI with a free throw, an opportunity to tie the game up at 61. Mitch Pat flexes, fires. Too strong rebound by Prosser for Bradley. One point game, six minutes remaining here in Indianapolis. Bradley with the basketball. Lemon dribbling to the right wing. Stops, swings it, free throw line. Eastman gets in the paint, air ball, rebound, Prosser, blocked by Esposito, saved underneath by Hart. Here comes IUPUI in the breakout. Rice goes up with a shot, not there. He threw it into the air off of the basket support. Now was it blocked by Bradley? And it will be Bradley ball. Rice was looking for some contact. That's good no call. He simply chucked it over the backboard. Eastman out top. Fire shot, fire shot. Eastman now goes in from the right side. He beat Esposito and everyone in a white jersey for the layup. 63. 60. 515 to play. Esposito out top. Left sideline Hart. Guarded by Lemon. Hart now dribbles down the right side lane into the air, throws it to the corner. A Rice three is good! We're tied at 63! Another jumper for Greg Rice. Under five minutes to play. Bradley with the basketball in the front court. Lemon, who used the high pick by Prosser, dribble to the right side. Gets it to Prosser, who rolls, and he was all by himself. 65-63, Bradley on top, Rice for the basketball, guarded by Sims Edwards, snaps it left sideline for Esposito, he'll dribble the left baseline, throw it out top, another Rice three is up, way too strong, rebound comes out to Esposito, and IUPUI can hold it and rest, down by two with 4.20 to play, Gibbs left sideline, he'll put on the floor, hand it off to Espo, who ran into Gibbs, Right back to Espo, now Hart has it out top. Hart puts it on the floor, free throw line, puts up a jumper, front of the rim and can't get the roll. Rebound by Pickett. Four minutes to play. Bradley with the lead by two and the basketball, it's in the hands of Lemon. Right sideline, Sims Edwards, right corner pocket, pass down low, Prosser missed it, IUPUI knocked it out of bounds. And a pushing foul is called on Pickett. IUPUI was going to knock that ball out of bounds. Instead, Pickett pushed a Jaguar who was going after it. So it's a foul on Pickett. Number two on Pickett, and it will be a one and one after this timeout. Three minutes and 47 seconds to play. Bradley on top, 65-63 on Sports Radio, 1260 WNDE.
In today's fast-paced world, you should not have to wait to get a debit card. Stop by any Indiana Members Credit Union branch, become a member, and walk out with your new debit card instantly. No more waiting days for your debit card to arrive. We strive to simplify your financial life. An instant debit card is one more way Indiana Members Credit Union offers big city convenience with a small town feel. Join today. minutes and 47 seconds to play we have been tied 10 times the lead has changed 11 times both teams have had men catch on fire but nobody has heated up as quickly as IUPUI's Greg Rice Rice now with 15 points for IUPUI he has scored 12 of the last 13 and he has brought this team back into the game. IUPUI has had a lead as large as seven. Bradley's has been as large as five. That was recently, just two minutes ago. And also recently, IUPUI, they enjoyed a 54-50 lead, but that was quickly evaporated. This has been a fun one tonight. Five player, four players rather in double figures for Gino Ford led by Tyshawn Pickett's 18. He's one rebound away from a double-double. Jaguars with three players in double figures, led by John Hart's 22. And let's see which team has enough gas left in the tank. Greg Rice has exerted some serious amount of energy during this run. He is on the floor along with John Hart, Donovan Gibbs, Sean Esposito, and Mitch Patton and it will be Donovan shooting the one and one. Bradley has Sims Edwards on the floor, Pickett, Egolf, Eastman, and Lemon. So the one and one for Donovan, who is two for three at the stripe this year. In his career, 50%. The junior from Louisville. Front end is up. Rattles around, and the rebound comes out to Bradley's Will Eagle. Two-point lead for the Braves and the basketball. Three minutes and 40 seconds to play. Marcellus Barksdale will check in at the next dead ball. Lemon has it, dribbles into the paint against Rice. Nothing there, puts up an air ball, and the ball was saved underneath by Gibbs. Up ahead to John Hart. Hart on the wing, Esposito back to Hart. Layup is good. Tied at 65. Hart to Espo, back to Hart. The senior finishes and has 24 points. Three minutes and 15 seconds to play. Left sideline, Sims Edwards. Wants to get it down low to pick it. Out top, Eastman. Now right, Ark Lemon. Lemon will put it on the floor, guarded by Rice. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Pickett sets the pick. Eastman dumps it right corner pocket. An eagle three, not there. Rebound put back, not there by Prosser. Rebound snatched out of the air again by Bradley. And Hart fouls Sims Edwards. They have dominated on the boards in this second half. No question about it. And they had two opportunities there. Eastman had a hand on it, then Sims got that miss, and he will step to the line in this 65-65 game to shoot two. He's four for five at the line this year, and he makes the first. Donovan Gibbs will check out. Foul on Hart, his second. Barksdale is now in for IUPUI. Second one is good. Two point, Bradley leads 67-65. And Greg Rice dribbles into the front court. He'll be picked up by Sims Edwards. Still has the dribble. Double team, ball poked away. Egolf gets on the floor to steal it. Sims Edwards into the open court. Layup is good. It's a four point game. 
Bradley diving on the floor with two and a half minutes to play. Gets the steal and the fast break bucket. Rice needing help. Swings it left sideline. Esposito lobs it down to the left block for Patton. Back to the basket. Mitch works into the paint. Triple team. Kicks into the corner for Rice. Dribbles to the left wing. Forces a pass down low. Mitch got it and he was fouled as he went up for it. And Mitch will shoot two. Boy, what a great game. Here early on in the season. Third game of the year for Bradley, looking to snap an 11 game road losing streak. Fourth game of the year for IUPUI. Their fourth game in eight days. Bradley calls a timeout. Now each team has two apiece. Bradley leading 69 to 65 with two minutes and 13 seconds left. If you're just joining us, we have been tied 11 different times. The lead has changed 12 different times. And it's Bradley by four, and IUPUI set to shoot the one and one. Four-point lead for Bradley, but Mitch trying to cut into that. The one in shooting two, and he hits the first. Sixty-nine, sixty-six. Now a chance to make it a two-point game. Mitch fires, too strong, rebound by Eagle. Another one for two trip for Mitch Patton. Approaching two minutes to play here at IUPUI. Bradley on the road leading by three. Left sideline, Lemon Jr. has it guarded by Rice. He'll use the high pick by Pickett. Switch now, Rice is on Pickett. Big time mismatch down low. Big time mismatch down low. And now Pickett comes up again to set the pick. This time, dribbling to the right wing is Lemon. He'll pull up, shot too strong. Rebound, though, by Bradley. Sims Edwards snatched it in the air with one hand and passed it underneath the bucket to a teammate. And Bradley now leads 71 to 66. They match their largest lead. It's at five. What a job by Sims Edwards to snap a pass down low to his teammate, Jake Eastman. And the story in the second half has been rebounding. Bradley has been big on the boards. Now let's see if IUPUI has another run in them. Timeout called by the Jaguars leaves them with one. Let's see if Hart or Greg Rice has enough left in that tank and one more heroic run to even this baby up. Bradley through two games, 73% free throw shooting squad. And they are 10 of 11 tonight. Next foul, regardless of who it is on, and that team will be shooting the double bonus. Donovan Gibbs back on the floor. 90 seconds to play, IUPUI down by five. Greg Rice dribbles to the left elbow, snaps a pass right sideline, Esposito dribbles in, gets it back to the right elbow, Gibbs jumper is short, rebound by Bradley. Bradley with a five point lead. It's into the hands of Eastman, guarded by Espo. Now a handoff to Sims Edwards, guarded by Espo at half court. Edwards dribbling, 71-66, now one minute to play. Shot clock at 15. And a timeout called by Gino Ford and the Bradley bench. They now have one left. 14 seconds on the shot clock. One minute to play on the game clock. And it's a 71-66 lead for the Bradley Braves. They have gone 11 months since winning on the road. They are one and one all time against the Jaguars.
regardless of what happens tonight, IUPUI will have to refocus quickly. They have a game Monday at the University of Virginia, the third round of the NIT, where they will take on North Texas. And then on Tuesday, it's at Lamar, and the Jaguars will be back at home against IU East a week from Monday, the 26th. Bradley to inbound, they get in the backcourt to Walt Lemon Jr. and he'll dribble into the front court. 10 seconds on the shot clock. He'll go down the right side of the lane. Now he'll get into the lane and a left-handed scoop shot. That was too easy. That was way too easy. And they're gonna put 54 seconds on the clock. Good eye by the official Bill F. 73-66. is now an 11 to three run for Bradley. Jaguars in the half court, 46 seconds to play. Hart has the ball poked away, but a reach and foul on Sims Edwards or on Lemon Jr. It's on Sims Edwards. That's his second. And the double bonus now for John Hart. 44 and 9, 10 seconds left. 73 66. If there is someone to foul that is out there right now, I guess it would be Pickett. Free throw is up and it's good. 25 points tonight for John Hart. Now looking for number 26. And to make it a five point game with 44 and 9 10 seconds left. He's good on that one. 73 68. Now they inbound. They get it to Lemon, and it looked like he took some steps. And it'll be a foul on IUPUI. Boy, it looked like Lemon got away with a walk. He caught it, started to run, but they called the whistle on the catch. That's a travel. The slap by Espo came after the second step by Lemon. Whew, they got away with one there. But Lemon Jr. so quick will take it. He'll shoot two. He's a good free throw shooter. Six for six in this one tonight, and he's shooting two. Good on the first. 74-68. It looked like IUPUI had their turnover. Instead, it's Lemon Jr. standing at the free throw line. He has one more. And he got them both. 75-68, 42 seconds to play. Rice trying to move quickly. Left sideline, out top, crosses over, jump stop, finds Patton down low, and Mitch fouled hard as he went up for a shot. Eagle with the personal. And for Egoff, that will be number three for him. And Mitch Patton now will shoot two. 33.3 seconds to play. Needed them both to make it once again a five point game. He got the first. Now he's been able to get the first three straight times now. It's the second one he's failed to connect on. Got that one to go. Five point game. 33.3 seconds left. Time to start fouling. They get into Sims Edwards and he is fouled by John Hart. Number three on John. And Sims Edwards will head to the free throw line. He's two for two, now six for seven on this young season. 31.7 seconds left. Five point lead for Bradley. And their senior who grew up in Peoria stands at the line and makes the first. One more for the 6'3 senior. Got them both. Back up to a seven point lead and Bradley give them credit. They have hit the boards in the second half and now they're hitting their free throws. Rice dribbles in. Dumps it back to Esposito, but a whistle away from the ball, and it's an offensive foul on Greg Rice. Bradley makes the plays again. 
after the pass. It was Eagle standing in the tracks. He slides over, takes the charge from Rice. Bradley inbounds. Eastman gets it ahead to Sims Edwards, and he is fouled by Rice. And Greg Rice now with four personals. And Sims Edwards right back to the free throw line. Bradley 77, IUPUI 70. Edwards fires. That's now three straight down the stretch that he has hit. Statistically not his best game. Came in averaging 11. Bradley's active career leading score coming into this game. He's been quiet. But he's come up big late. Missed the second one. Eight-point game, 20 seconds. Espo dribbled it off his foot and out of bounds. And it will be Bradley basketball. Espo tried to slice in on that left wing and lost it. IUPUI is going to fall to two and two. Inbound to Walt Lemon. And Gibbs will foul him. And Bradley will improve to three and oh. And it will be their first road win since December of last year. And they will snap that 11 game road win win streak, losing streak rather. Jalen Crawford is set to come in for Bradley. Lemon Jr. at the line. Got the first. 79 to 70. This might end up a double digit loss for IUPUI, but in no way was the effort of this game that lopsided. This was a one possession game at the 347 mark. Another free throw missed. And then Bradley started to pull away. 10 seconds to play. Hart measures a three off the mark. Rebound comes out to Esposito. Five seconds to play, and Crawford fouls Espo. It was a 67-65 game with three minutes to play when Greg Rice got his pocket picked. Eagle then dove on the floor for that loose ball, passed it ahead to his teammate. That layup made it 69-65, to and the Jaguars could get no closer than three from there on out. Sims Edwards checks out. Kadero Bell checks in. Espo hits the first. Lemon Jr. comes out to a nice round of applause. Good travel base tonight for Bradley. Second one for Espo is good. 79-72, Bradley inbounds. They will walk it out, and the Braves will come to IUPUI and win by a final score of 79 to 72, Bradley got the loose balls, got some big rebounds, and they got lots of buckets down low late. And they hit their free throws as well. Good all around game though. Several lead changes, several ties, but in the end, it's Bradley that comes out on top. The Braves beat the Jaguars, 79-72. Post game show comes your way next on Sports Radio 1260, WNDE. Coke Zero tastes like Coke, but what good is telling you that on the radio? 